Hey guys, if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Blake and I'm reviewing my trade from today. It was an opening range breakout. The first position that I took, I didn't hold long enough. Um, as you can see here, I was short at short right out of the gates, PCG at 1405. So the reason that I took this is that it topped out at 1450, had a little bit of a pullback, it set in a lower high put in a red candle and was pressing on this 14. I took it short right as it was gaining momentum to the downside. You could see that it was it was pressing on 14. I couldn't hold it long enough. I held it for about 34 seconds and I ended up taking the $50. So, I mean, it was a quick was it 30 it was a quick 20 cent move about 25 cents, I don't know. Yeah, about 25 cents with 250 shares. So, I'm gonna run the tape for you. I'm gonna speed it up for now, and as things get more exciting, I will slow it down. So, I, I took the profit, took it a little too soon. The stock ended up continuing to pull down. I was looking for a re-entry here, but it just continues to pull down. Doesn't give me an opportunity for re-entry. I was looking for it to pop back up somewhere around our original entry, or at least up to the VWAP, somewhere where it's a well-defined level of resistance overhead that I could short against. Taking a position here would pretty much just be, in my opinion, a gamble because it's there's no clear indication of which way it's going because it's still uptrending on the daily. This is technically just a pullback. It's above support levels and there's no real resistance overhead. So unfortunately it didn't come up high enough to give me a good entry to re-entry to reshort it. So I just kind of end up waiting. Fast forwarding here. It ends up flushing really hard. And to me, I, I, I feel like this is overextended. 1350 was actually a, a psychological level of resistance, that half dollar resistance. So as it was coming down here and it started losing momentum, let's slow this to real time here. Okay. So we'll see here. It's flushing under 1350. And as it starts to lose momentum, you see it's not go selling off anymore. I go long. I grab shares over 1350. So as it's coming back up right there, I go long. I saw it catch bids, get over 1350, and it filled me at 1353. So it's a low risk entry over 1350. This is a starter position. It was it's high risk because you're catching a falling knife. This ended up continuing against me. Now it's in the 1330s. So you'll see here I'm I'm mapping out my risk level. Where could this potentially go? We're looking at 1333. About 1330. Under that, there's no more resistance. The reason for that is because it got up over this 1330 level, tested it, bounced off of it, set in a higher low over the 1330, almost tested it pre-market, and now we're testing it again. So this is a well-defined level to risk off of. So I don't just jump in this one because I'm underwater and I think, well, if this fails, it's going to go pretty far against me. That's going to be my max risk level. So um, thinking about covering the position right now, we're down about 20 cents, which makes us just about break even for the day. So not too much emotion in this trade. It's a, It's still a starter size. So you see it bounced off that level, it got bought back up. You can see that in the candles because it's putting in a lowering, it's putting in a, a shadow or a, a bottoming wick. Still short 250 shares. So as we're getting a little bit more traction and it's putting in some bullish candles, 
and holding over 1330 is a well-defined level of risk right now that holds significance on the daily chart too from yesterday's trading I end up taking in more size here as it's holding up so I've been I've been trading PCG for the last few days and I, I kind of got a good feel for how it's trading so here's the last test to see if it flushes or if it gains some traction and as it gains traction and it's not setting in new lows so it's found a bottom and it gives me a low risk entry to risk off of I add in size here it's at 1330 this is the point this is the breaking point if it's gonna flush it should flush now so I'm, I'm looking to get out of the position or add it's basically it like this is the turning point under 1330 it's gonna be ugly so I actually added in here at 1336 as it was failing to break down it was failing to get momentum and it was it was being held up so we're long 500 shares our average is 1345 so we're still you know five to ten cents underwater our risk levels definitely manageable here's and this actually scared me it was pulling back again and I knew that if it doesn't break this time it's definitely not definitely never definitely but if it fails to make new lows here this is just an opportunity to add so as it came back down you see it touched 1330 I just doubled size so now we're long a thousand shares average is 41 the longer it holds up here the more confident that I'm getting in the trade I feel like this is overextended to the downside the VWAP is at around 1380 this is you know a 50 cent move now it's starting to gain momentum the other way so I add in another 500 shares here as it gets over 1340 lots of green on the tape a little bit of a flush and we're long 1500 shares So every 10 cents is $100 so or $150. So I just took off half the size. Now we're up we're up $60. We're holding the trade. To me it looks like it was losing a little bit of momentum under 1350. I really wanted to see it break over 1350 and it was struggling. So I took off some more size there at 42. Now if I was a little bit more patient and I waited ends up getting over 1350 which is a level that it pivoted at before so getting over that 1350 was pretty critical now since this was a high risk trade I've taken off risk the last lot size that I have the 375 shares I'm a little bit more comfortable holding because I've already banked money on the trade we're up right now 15 cents from 40 now we're up just about 20 cents from uh, you know 41 to 61 and I'm looking at where should I take profits what's a good place to take profits on this last size I'm trying to maximize the position so it's coming up to the view app right now and it's it hit 77 and it got smacked down to 70 so as it gets back up towards that area I took it off it looked like it was hitting the view app and getting rejected so that was a quick trade um 10 tickets 231 dollars as you see here it ended up hitting the view app and getting pulled back down and it was trading at 1360 so that take that i had was um an ideal take the other ones were a little bit premature but it's really risky playing uh a bull flag or a bear flag pullback because uh, it could have easily just flushed me out so it's quick to take the profits and that's how you have to be with the opening range breakouts and breakdowns everything's very quick ideally I would have held my original position longer I was short as it opened at 1450 I shorted it at this 1405 level as it looked like it was flushing and it went to 1358 and closed at 1370 there's really no reason for me to take my profit at 
this 1380 level. It was premature. I should have lit it, put in a bottom, and come back up. But so many times, I'm up 20 cents, I don't take any, and it shoots right back up against me. And, you know, being up $52 within uh, less than 30 seconds, it's kind of stupid not to take it. You know, some people work four hours for that. Um, so, as you see, this time today at, at about 10 o'clock in the morning, I was up $231. I actually killed PCG today, but I also killed myself in commissions. But taking a look at my live PL while I still have it, I had a $2,000 a day minus a shit ton of commissions. But as you can see, I was just placing small orders, adding and adding and scaling out. What are we doing here? So like I, I had a ton of tickets, but I was scaling in and out. So it's kind of hard to see, but let's see, I was shorting at 1355, 1355, and the timeline's not even in order. So why would that make any sense? So like here I was shorting at 51 and 52, and then I was covering it at 71. And I was placing these orders and I was getting a lot of slippage. I was placing these bigger orders. So if you notice towards the end of the day, I stopped placing those orders. For most for the most part they were all small orders and it was because I was getting slippage on the on the big orders and not the small ones yeah I mean that's pretty much it I guess shorting it at 55 56 57 covering in the 52s so it was really only like five cents a share on average I did the math but all those little five cents add up so um, yeah if you guys found this at all useful you let me know all right see ya